A blessed and pleasant good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome to another edition of Children's Bible Minutes brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of Belize. Muki and I are excited that you could join us today for our show. Today, we are going to be talking about a new Bible hero. Yes, we enjoyed what we did with Elisha, but we are going to be talking about a different Bible hero today. And this Bible hero is not very different from you. I'm not going to tell you more because today we are going to be looking at the youngest king in the Bible. Yep, and I'm not going to say any more. Let's just watch this story. Here we go. God's Masterpiece Josiah This is Josiah. Hey Josiah became king of Israel when he was only eight years old. Yep. Now the country of Israel had a very long line of kings who did many bad things, including Josiah's father and grandfather. These kings did not follow after God, and they ignored his commandments and his law. But when Josiah became king, he did what God wanted him to, and followed the example of King David. Yeah! Eighteen years after Josiah became king, he sent one of his court secretary, Shaphan, to God's temple. Thank you. Many of the kings before Josiah did not take good care of God's house, so it was in need of repair. Hmm. While they're in the temple, Hilkiah, the high priest, said to Shaphan, Hey! I have found the book of the law in the Lord's temple. So Shaphan took the scroll back to King Josiah and read it to him. <laughs> when Josiah heard what was in the book, he was greatly upset. Oh, no. Because the people of Israel were not doing the things that God asked them to do. And Josiah knew that God must be angry with Israel for not obeying his commandments. Josiah gathered together all the people of Israel to the temple. <laughs> and read the entire book of the covenant to them. That very day, Josiah and all the people promised that they would obey all of what God commanded with all their hearts and souls. We promise you. Josiah went on to help Israel become a people fully committed to God. He tore down all the other temples and the idols that they had set up. He got rid of all the people who were doing bad things all throughout Israel. And he did all that was commanded in God's book. Never before had there been a king like Josiah who turned to the Lord with all his heart and soul and strength, obeying all the laws of Moses. And there has never been a king like him since. You see that? Josiah became the youngest king at the age of eight. And when he grew up and he was 18, he then started to notice that things weren't going well in his place and he needed to do something different. And he said, you know what? I want to rebuild the house of God because he wanted to be a good king like King David. And you remember how much of a good king young David was, right? And so Josiah started to rebuild the temple of God. And that's when they found the scroll, the piece of paper that had all the laws of how people were supposed to live if they want to please God. And so Josiah read that to all the people and they decided we are going to do this. And Josiah started to clean up the place, clear up the place, chase out the people who were not willing to do what God wants because he felt that since they weren't living according to how God wanted them to live, that God must have been angry with them. And he turned everything around. And he started when he was eight. And when he was 18, he made it the law and he lived out his life serving God. So you see, boys and girls, you don't have to be old in order to do for God what Josiah had. Josiah had a love for the Lord our God, and he loved God with all his heart, with all his soul, with all his mind, and with all his strength. That reminds me of a Bible verse. That reminds me of Mark chapter 12, verse 30, which Jesus said to the people around him, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. And that is all it takes, boys and girls. You are not too young. You are not too old. Not because of what race or what church you go to, what school you go to, or anything like that. You simply have to have a love that you want to share with others, a love that comes from God. You know what? 
Muki found a song just about that. So why don't we listen to that song? Here we go. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind and love all of mankind as you would love yourself. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and mind and love all mankind. We've got Christian lives to live. We've got Jesus love to give. We've got Nothing to hide because in him we abide love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind and love all of mankind as you would love yourself love, love Lord your God Lord with all your, your heart God. and all your soul all and your all your mind and love with all, all of your mankind soul and you mind would and love yourself. all mankind love we've got Lord, 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 your God with all we've got Jesus love to give we've got nothing to hide because in him all mankind love we've got Christian lives to live we've got Jesus love to give we've got Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your heart and all your soul and all your mind. Your mind. And love all of mankind as you would love yourself. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and mind. And love all mankind. We've got Christian life to live. We've got Jesus love to give. We've got Nothing to hide because in him we abide love. I enjoyed that one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. That is what is required. And you know what, boys and girls, that is all we have to do in order to be willing to serve God and to share him with others. And that's what young Josiah did. Can I have it, Muki? And that is why today's Bible hero is Josiah. Josiah was only eight years old when he became king. And he was a good king who was obedient to God. When a hidden scroll was found with the laws of how people supposed to live, if they wanted to obey God, Josiah made sure that all the people knew about it. And then he went traveling around, destroying all the temples and the idols that were not to God and making sure that people obeyed God's command. And he ruled a very long time and was a very good king. So our Bible hero is Josiah. Guess what, boys and girls? We are out of time. We are out of time, but we still have time to pray because you know we can't end the show without praying. So would you mind bowing your heads and closing your eyes that we could pray? Thank you so much. Let us pray. Afternoon, God. God, you have brought us to the end of a new week and to the beginning of the weekend. God, we thank you for keeping us safe this week and all the work we had to do for school. We thank you for helping us to get it done. And we look forward to having a little bit of fun over this weekend, even while we stay safe. God, we heard a story about an eight-year-old who became king. You know what we think, God? We think that it doesn't matter our age, that you could use us to accomplish anything that you would like us to accomplish. God, we just ask that you would move in our lives and that you would use us. You would make us like Josiah, bold enough to not only love you, but to share that love with each other. God, there are some people who don't know your love and who don't feel your love. Those who are sad, those who are sick, those who are lonely, those who are afraid for whatever reason. God, help them to feel your presence. Help them to know that you love them. Use us, God, to help them to know that we love them and you love them too. God, we just lift ourselves and our prayers unto you, asking your continued protection and your guidance over our lives. Help us to be, help us to do, even if we are small, big things for you. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Boys and girls, we are seriously out of time. We just thank you, Muki and I, for joining us for Children's Bible Minutes. And of course, we look forward to joining you 
next time, same place, same time. But you know something? Remember, on Sunday, we have Children's Bible Minutes at 4 p.m. on Love FM. Tomorrow, Rev has an appointment and hopefully she'll be back in time to do the 2.30 show. But if she doesn't know that she loves and miss you very much and she looks forward to seeing you on Sunday. All right. So until next time, stay home, stay safe. God bless. Bye for now. Thank you.